at my first orienteering event today and I've got everything ready to go. My map, my compass, my timing chip and my control card. In an orienteering event, the aim is to get through all the checkpoints called controls as fast as possible. For a lot of people that means lots of running. I'm not sure how much running I'll be doing today. I guess that depends on how difficult my course is. Are you right there? Do you need a hand? Oh, yes please. Um, I've got this blue course, but I'm not very sure about it. Um, I don't understand how much navigation or the level of navigation I'm going to need. Well, it's probably a good thing you've got the blue course. So the blue course for today is the easiest course. It's for our novice orienteers. All events tend to have different levels of navigation. In this case, at this event, orange indicates a moderate level of navigation. But the blue today, that's for novices. And how long is a blue course? Uh, it's about two kilometres. And how long will it take me to do? Uh, well, we'll have to wait and see. Okay. Um, there's just one thing. Just before they asked for my car registration, why was that? Well, it's just a safety mechanism. So once everyone's finished, we need to make sure everyone's back out of the forest. And we do that by collecting the cards so that we don't have to send out a search party. Search party? Well, that sounds a bit ominous. Could I use a GPS? Uh, actually, no, that's not allowed. Particularly one that displays uh, your position on a map. Uh, the challenge today is just for you to go with this uh, map and a compass. And my superior sense of navigation. Any more questions? Well, yes, just one more. Where do I go to the start? Oh, OK, it's just uh, I, just a... Oh, OK, thank you.